Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss Java object and class. As Java is object oriented programming, so we all should know what is class, what is object. So in this lesson, we'll be discussing objects, class, methods, properties and constructor. Let's start discussing what is class. A class is a template or blueprint where we defined methods and properties. Then what is object? Object is an instance of a class. An object contains methods and properties. So what does all this mean? If you see the image over here, you can identify here we created a class called dog, for example. So inside this doc class, we have some properties called breed, size, age, and color. And there are a few methods that is called eat, sleep, sit, and run. So what we can do, let's say we have a doc class, and based on this doc class, we can have multiple different objects. So for those specific objects, we can set different values of this property, and we can get the behavior of those um, objects. So for example, this is a black dog, this is a white dog, this is a brown dog. But we can set all of these properties over here, but all of the dogs will have all these methods or behaviors. So all of these dogs will be eating, sleeping, sitting and running. So let me show you some example real quick using our ID. Here you see I have created a package called object and inside this package I created a class called dog. So let's open this class and what is inside this class. So inside this dog class we have few instance variable where we can set like breed, size, age and color. And we have a method, simple method called getInfo, where we'll be displaying all of these values. So inside this class, we have a main method. And inside this main method, we have an object, dog object, which is called Maltese. So if we set all the values for this object, then we can display it over here. Then we can create another object of dog class, let's say black dog. We can set all the attribute values over here and we can display it from this println statement. So let me run this program and let's see what we are getting here. Here you see, although we have one dog class, but we can create multiple different objects. So, so that's the beauty of using object oriented programming. We don't need to worry about anything else. We are setting the values for different properties and we are getting the methods. So here for the first object, we are setting all of these values and we are displaying it over here. And we created another object of doc class. We are setting all the values and displaying it over here. So this is how we can create multiple different object of same class and we can use based on our need. Now let's discuss constructor so what is actually constructor constructor name match with the class name and it doesn't have any return type so what does this mean i'll be discussing this in real example using our id but before showing you the program let's discuss how many types of constructor we could have we could have default constructor no argument constructor or parameter parameterized constructor so let me run some constructor demo. So here you see, this is a class called constructor demo. And as I already mentioned, the constructor name, sh name should match with the class name. This is exactly what is happening here. And it shouldn't have any return type. It doesn't have any return type. And what it is doing inside this constructor, we are actually printing this statement. So if we run this program, and what we'll be getting so there is no uh, this is a no argument constructor so this is a no argument constructor and we defined it over here we are passing some values over here but let's say if we 
don't have this thing over here and if we run this class will there be any error no there will be no error because java is creating no argument constructor by default behind the scene and it is not giving or showing any output here because inside the no argument constructor we are not doing anything but if we want to do something inside no argument constructor then we can do something like that then what is parameterized constructor in parameterized constructor we will be passing some parameter right so here you see we have a no argument constructor and we have a parameterized constructor so if we run this program let's see what we get as an output so here you see inside this main method we have two object of the same class so this is no argument constructor based object this is parameterized constructor based object right so when we are calling this object dot get method as this instance is forming from no argument constructor it will be coming here and displaying 10 and for this one we are passing 200 so this is a parameterized constructor example so it will be coming here in this constructor and it will be discussed uh, displaying 200 so the interesting fact here is that when we will be defining or using any parameterized constructor at that time if we remove this no argument constructor then it will be showing an error the reason is that when we'll have no argument or uh, sorry when we'll have a parameterized constructor at that time we need to define no argument constructor inside the program if we don't have any parameterized constructor in our program then that's fine i mean java will be using the default constructor or no argument constructor uh, behind the scene but if we define any parameterized constructor in our class then we must need to define no argument constructor in our program as well okay so this was a short lesson so in this lesson we discuss what is class object what is method and properties and how we can use constructor and what are the different type of constructor i hope all of this information was helpful thanks everyone